So I've been at Fox Chase for eight years now, and since I got here, I would say more than half of the treatments that I have available for my patients were not available when I started. So just to, to have patients who needed the next thing and to be able to get it for them in the form of a clinical trial and then ultimately as an approved therapy um, felt really good. I am a medical oncologist specializing in genitourinary malignancies. So that's a mouthful, but the cancers that I treat and specialize in are bladder cancer, kidney cancer, prostate cancer, and testicular cancer. Not only do I have expertise in those diseases. Uh, I'm involved nationally in research efforts and guideline efforts um, for all of them. At Fox Chase, we're really fortunate to have a great group of folks treating GU malignancies. So from the surgeons, the urologists, radiation oncologists, our medical oncology team, everybody is really dedicated to sort of helping the patient that comes in. We incorporate chemotherapy, surgery, radiation in a way that gives our patient the best chance for the best possible outcome. Every patient that picks up the phone and calls Fox Chase is struggling with a significant diagnosis. And I think for a lot of our patients, that's the scariest time. That makes that first visit at Fox Chase with medical oncology a really important one because I think that's where it's my job to understand the medical facts, understand the values and what's important to the patient, and then use that information to really find the best way to craft a treatment program specific for that patient. One of the most exciting developments in cancer is immunotherapy. Um, this is a broad category of treatments that essentially train the body's own immune system to fight the cancer growing within each individual. We do a lot of clinical trials at Fox Chase. Writing our own clinical trials is something I'm very proud of. We've seen success in clinical trials in immunotherapy for the treatment of bladder cancer, leading to recent FDA approval of a new treatment, and kidney cancer, also leading to recent FDA approval of a new immunotherapy. And the responses that we see when patients do benefit from these are really spectacular. Watching cancers that, you know, should have been fatal years ago in patients who are now living and thriving is the best part of my job.